Silky B. Alright, let's get to the point. The recent May 9th update for Ultimate Driving included this Tesla Roadster, which is actually, to be quite honest, pretty good for the price. According to UD stats, 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, with a top speed of 250 miles per hour, coming in at 500 grand of your money's worth. As you just saw with me going wide and crashing, this car however does come with some issues. Due to its all-wheel drive setting and UD chassis being utterly bad, the car will generally understeer noticeably if you don't purposely slide all the corners. It's hard, it's difficult to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's quite decent in cornering. However, it is definitely not the best compared to others. To back that up even further, the following corners I just used a normal brake, which is not recommended in any car due to the chassis, and it's very noticeable how bad the understeer actually is. I mean, again, if you know how to control the car, it's a really good car, especially for the acceleration and top speed it has for 500 grand. It performs well here, Odessa, and Westover as well, but how does it perform on 92? Let's find out. Rather difficult, actually. You already have the understeer issues. And you're adding bumps, which does not, which the car does not like at all. So, it definitely proves a challenge to drive an ID2. Now, I don't really have much to say about the car, so I'll just let the footage speak for itself and just enjoy this 92 run. And yes, I did mess up, unfortunately. I actually set a faster 92 run, which is a 115. Uh, I actually ended up changing the rims to Diablo rims and just generally changing up the stuff, but it was a 115. Uh, it could definitely go faster, but I don't have the footage of it because my recorder decided to corrupt the files, so uh, that's unfortunate. To add on to the unfortunateness, is that even a word? I can't actually show you a time because UD decided to mess up their systems and not be able to click on the view records for the street races. So you're just going to have to take my word, uh, hopefully they fix that, but knowing the reputation I highly doubt they'll fix that anytime soon, or maybe, or maybe I'll be proven wrong, who knows. This car, like many other cars, has the same issues that UD has, and at this point, it's based off the chassis. This, I'd say this car is actually one of the better cars of this update. I have yet to test the Julia, however, so that may change. I, make, may, I might make a video on it, but that's that review on it. I, I, if you're interested in buying the car, I'd highly recommend it. It's, it's pretty cheap for UD standards, 500k, especially for what you get. I'm unsure about, I am not sure about how well it would do on grinding, but if you're looking for a good car to just mess around with, I'd say a Tesla is not a bad idea.